All right, what's up, YouTubians? So, uh, you know, I do my little my little studies all day, just reading through stuff, and uh, I came across two two separate articles, right? And uh, one is in 2018, the Vatican and the Chinese government made a a deal. They made a contract in regard to appointing bishops, right? Um, <clears throat> As the initial agreement expired October 22nd, the two sides have agreed to extend the experimental implementation phase of the provisional agreement for another two years. All right. Um, the Holy See considers the initial application of the agreement successful, uh, and it was it was a good thing for them. Um, there is good communication and cooperation between the parties on the matter that they were disgusting, discussing. It is disgusting, sorry. Um, signed in Beijing September 22nd. <clears throat> All right, and took effect, effect one month later. The, the agreement, the text of which has never been made public. Uh, the outline has been the outline procedures for ensuring Catholic bishops are elected <clears throat> by China. China chooses the, the bishops. They have to be approved by the Pope, but, yeah. Vatican officials have said that giving up full control over the choice of bishops would not be what the Vatican hoped for, but it could be a good first step toward ensuring greater freedom and security for the Catholic community in China. Um, yeah. When asked if he was referring to the persecution of Christians, the Cardinal replied, What persecution? It is necessary to use terms correctly. There are rules that are imposed and that apply to all religions, and they certainly appeal to the Catholic Church. When asked about Christian persecution, this dude basically said, what persecution actions have consequences. It's crazy. So, that isn't really important. This is what's important. Um, <clears throat> so, apparently, uh, they have this holiday where if you do certain things, the Pope will give you one free sin, right? Because, you know, sin doesn't equal death. Uh, this, this shit is crazy. It, it's called indul indulgences, right? Traditionally obtained during the first week of November for the souls of the faithful in purgatory. They call purgatory the penitentiary, the Vatican penitentiary, uh, which is just insane. But they can now be gained throughout the entire month of November. All those who are ill or homebound and would not be able to physically visit a church in the prescribed time frame. Where is purgatory? Like, not what is purgatory. What, what belief system has a purgatory? Isn't that Roman and Greek and Egyptian? And not, not the truth? There's not a purgatory. There's not. It's crazy. Um... Let's see. Traditionally, the faithful could receive a full indulgence each day from November 1st to November 2nd. So that's one sin a day for seven days. When they visited a cemetery and prayed and fulfilled other con conditions. Um, all right, let me get to what I'm getting at here. This part is the important. In all cases, right, if you get the full indulgence, if you get the free sin... You must also fulfill the normal requirements set by the church for all plenary indulgences, which demonstrate a resolve to turn away from sin and convert to God. Okay, so these are the things that you have to do, and you get a free sin. Having a spirit detached from sin, going to confession as soon as possible, receiving the Eucharist as soon as possible, praying for the Pope's intentions... And that's what I'm getting at. If you pray for the Pope's intentions and you consent to what the Pope wants to do, you get a free sin. 
we know what the Pope wants to do because we just talked about it. Uh, so I'm going to throw something at you here, right? And this is, I started typing, so. Uh, and just want to see if you think, if you find this crazy or not, okay? Um, put some info together and see if this makes sense. Um, we know that God dwells in the subconscious mind, right? In the woman, the holy city of Jerusalem. It's in the subconscious mind. Uh, and God created everything, right? So, another way to say that, that exact same thing, is the conscious reality is a manifestation of the subconscious mind. Does that make sense? Good. Uh, now, the Pope said he would give you a free sin, right? If you want to shoot somebody, you could probably shoot somebody. I don't know specifically how it works. Like he did with Guy Fawkes. The mask, the anonymous mask I just did a video on. Everybody that was involved in that Jesuit treason was given a free sin. Um, instead of burning Guy Fawkes at the stake, they burned a picture of the Pope at the stake in the place of Guy Fawkes. It's insane. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Uh, so, <clears throat> you got a free sin if you say, Lord, help the Pope get his mission done. You get a free sin, right? Uh, and because most men operate off their their nature, right? Their sinful nature. Uh, that sounds like a good deal, you know? So they accept it, and they get their free sin, and they do one little thing, and then whatever. Uh, and we know how consent and contracts work, right? We're under contract law. So if you do that, you did that. That's that. Uh, and just for the record here, there are 1.2 billion Roman Catholics. The world truly does lust after the beast. Uh, and that's just Roman Catholics. Let's read this, right? Uh, I Google searched how many people follow the Pope. The Pope is considered one of the most powerful people because of his extensive diplomatic, cultural, and spiritual influence on 1.3 billion Catholics and beyond, right? Keep in mind that it's the subconscious mind that manifests the reality, okay? That's, that's insane. Uh, so that's a, a free sin for 1.3 billion, at minimum, people in exchange for consent and approval and support for the Pope's plan, right? We know what the Pope's plan is, right? For Telly Tutti. Um, that's billions of subconscious minds making the Pope's, manifesting the Pope's goal, right? <clears throat> What's the Pope's goal? It's Fratelli Tutti. It's, uh, we was just talking about it. It's the universal brotherhood. The ungodly, flesh-serving, what's it called? The common good, stripping you of your uniqueness for the sake of everyone around you. I, I, it's crazy. I don't even believe, right? I don't personally believe that there is an end time, right? Nations will come and go. People will come and go. But the world always stays. The world doesn't go anywhere. Like this, this world is here forever. Um, but this sounds like, you know, it sounds just like some, some physical interpretation of Revelation. It's more likely, though, it's just the demise of the Western world and the power shifting back to the East. You know what I mean? Uh, but the point that I want to make here is that the Pope stated his awful, ungodly plan for stripping the individual of uniqueness and, and all that, right? Um, and there are billions of people who are going to make a deal to manifest it. Does that make sense to you? You know what I mean? You get it? I was just reading, and, and it it all came to me piece by piece, and I was like, oh, shit, because you, you paint the reality. You paint your own world. And when 1.3 billion people paint the same world that was designed by the Pope, it's probably going to be bad. Does that make sense to you, though? It makes sense to me. I just figured I'd share it with you. Um, yep, I got a video for tomorrow, though. I just, I hate it when it's cold. I really hate it. It's freezing. Hate it.
That's the thing about Kentucky. It can be like winter, and it'll still be 85 degrees. And then in summertime, you might get a day that's in the 40s. It's just so insane. It will rain in winter and snow in summer. It's nuts. But I'll see you soon, guys. Love you. Peace.